In this part, Mr. G saying to Lin K that how about 100,000 tails? Guy was shocked when he listened Mr. G words. The guy say that a pill is worth 100,000 tails. Is that really happening? Mr. G is willing to give him 100,000 tails for one pill. What's wrong with him? Mr. Lu saying to Mr. G that I think making that kind of pill is nothing for you since you're an alchemist master. Please leave them to me. People were shocked and say that is Mr. Lu gonna buy this pills? Does that mean he's not a con man? One guy say that give one to me. I would like to give you 150,000 tails. The other guy say that I also want one. And I will give you 160,000 tails. Other one say that is that young man probably working with Mr. G and Mr. Lu to cheat us. Are you crazy? There's no way they would cheat us with that young man. His pills are surely remarkable. That's why both Mr. Lu and Mr. G want one. If his pills are really able to purge the cultivator's marrow according to their name. One would be worth more tails than what we have offered. At that moment, one guy came there and say that I will give you 500,000 tails. People are talking to each other and say that turns out he's from the Meng family in the West Sea. No wonder he can name that price. Everyone in his sect needs to refine his marrow. Marrow purging pills are the greatest pills for them. The Meng family in the West Sea. A family known for their indestructible body and martial arts. Absolutely. No one will give you more. Then Meng saying to Lin Kei that so will you sell your pills to me. I want all your pills. Lin Kei replied to him that I don't need tails. If you give me spiritual herbs that have grown for thousands of years. I will give you marrow purging. Pills as many as you want. Meng was shocked and saying to Lin Kei that more than 1000 years. You gotta be kidding me. Nowadays, no one could possibly have this kind of spiritual herbs. You can't be serious about it, can you? Then Mr. Lu say that in recent years, with the intensification of herb gathering, this kind of spiritual herb has been almost extinct. I haven't seen one for a long time already. However, there are several thousand year old ginseng plant in our shop. If you have the recipe for marrow purging pills, I may give you one of them to exchange it with our master. Mr. G saying to Mr. Lu that seriously, you wanna exchange the recipe with just only one ginseng plant. That's too cheap. Mr. Lu replied to Mr. G that dude, we are friends, remember? How could you cut me down? That's betrayal. Mr. G replied to Mr. Lu that don't be mad at him. He's a straight-hearted man, and he means no harm. As the saying goes, the highest bidder gets it. Right. Besides, it's really of great use to me. Why don't you do me a favor and quit it now? Then Mr. G saying to Lin K that it may be hard for common citizens to get one herb that has grown for thousands of years. But for me, it's not. You should know that we have existed for hundreds of years. That's what we do for a living. We have a large stock of it. I can send someone back to get the medicine for you right now as long as you are willing to give me the recipe. People are taking to each other and say that what on earth does that young man have? It seems that both Mr. Lu and Mr. Jin Wang that thing very much. Then Mr. Lin saying to Mr. G that it's just a normal recipe. Perhaps the only thing special about it is that it has very strict requirements for the pill maker. I am afraid. I am the only one in the world who meets the requirements. Mr. G was shocked and asked to Lin K that are you a pill maker? Lin K replied to him that you could say that. Then Mr. Lu saying to Lin K that if this elixir is really made by you, I would like to offer you three ginseng plants that have grown for thousand of years to be one of our distinguished elders. After that Mr. G saying to Lin K that if you are willing to work in my shop, you have access to all the herbs we have at will and all the books on pill making. Everybody was shocked, one guy saying to the other to other that did you hear that? Both Mr. Lu and Mr. G made an offer to him. Who the hell is that young man? Gotta be someone super powerful, I guess. The other guy say that he's made such great achievements at a young age, but why have I never heard of his name before? At that moment one guy came there, and saying to them that just drop it. Mr. Lin was invited by my family. So you would better give up and set your mind on someone else. Both Mr. G and Mr. Lu replied to the guy that whatever. You're the host, after all. We will do as you think fit. Then the guy asked to them that who is this man? Why did both Mr. Lu and Mr. G show their respect to him? After that, one guy saying to other that you don't know him. He's the host of the contest. Gao Yiming, the representative of the Gao family. 
Only the master of the Gao family whose enclosed door cultivation can give him orders. Quite a big shot. Dude, how can you not even know him? Maybe you should just go home. Other guy saying to him that sorry about that I am a newcomer. I feel kind of awkward right now. Even Gao Yiming was here to invite that young man. I guess his life is gonna start a new chapter soon. What a promising young man he is. Alas, I wish I were him. After that, Gao Yiming going near to Xiao Jing and asked to her that you have been back for a few days. Why don't you introduce your friend to me? Xiao Jing replied to him that I have been busy catching up with Ziyu these days, and I haven't had the chance to introduce him to you. Then Gao Yiming saying to Lin Kei that that you are Xiao Jing friend, which makes you my friend too. If you work for us, I am willing to give you half of our stores to manage. And our master can fight for you three times. Everyone was shocked and say that half of stores. The master of the Gao family can fight him three times. A grand master can fight for him three times. With a grand master as the backing, I guess no one would dare to mess up with him again. What a generous offer the Gao family made. Lin Kei replied to Gao Yiming that nope. I only accept thousand year old spiritual herbs in exchange. People were say that is he fool. I can't believe he just turned down such a generous offer. This isn't happening. How could he turn the offer down so easily? Then Gao Yiming saying to Lin Kei that maybe you should reconsider it. Lin Kei replied to him that no need. All I want is thousand years old spiritual herbs. Then Gao Yiming saying to Lin Kei that well, since you don't want to work for us, I won't force you. But you don't have to make a decision in a hurry. The offer will always be there. Just reconsider it. Everybody were shocked to listen that offer and say that what a smug little bastard. How could he turn Gao Yiming down in front of everyone? Just wait and see. The Gao family won't let him off easily. After that, Mr. Zhang saying to Lin Kei that Mr. Gao seems a bit upset. You would better watch yourself. Lin Kei replied to him that it's all right. On the other side, at night time, Ziyu saying to Xiao Jing that alas. What's so good about him? He has nothing but some pills, but he's the most arrogant man I have ever seen. How dare he not show any respect for my father? Xiao Jing replied to her that he he. Have you forgotten that Mr. Lin is called Mr. Immortal? He's not after fame and fortune. Ziyu saying to her that alas. Come back with Mr. Lin. Everyone here saw his pills. I am afraid someone may hurt him. Xiao Jing replied to her that don't worry. Mr. Lin will handle it. At that moment Lin K stopped. Xiao Jing was upset and asked to him that is everything okay. Then Lin Kei say that show yourselves. There's no need to hide. Meng family guy came there with Mr. Lu and Mr. Ji. Lin Kei saying to them that you must have been waiting for ages. Come on then. After that Lin Kei attack on them, and they died. Both guards was watching that, and thinking that so powerful. Like a monster. They are run away from there. Zhang saying to Lin Kei that sir, those two seem to be. Guards tell the Gao Yiming all the situation. Gao Yiming was shocked and say that what? All failed. Guard replied to him that yes, I saw it with my own eyes. Gao Yiming saying to them that alright, I see. Gao Yiming thinking that Lin Haoshan. Who on earth are you? At that moment, one guy came there and saying to him that sir, people from Strange Wood House, Nine Tripod Palace, and the Meng family in the West Sea all died here. I am afraid we will be held accountable. Gao Yiming replied to him that what's done is done and there is nothing we can do to change the fact. Just send someone to tell them the news ASAP. Next morning, people were upset and say that strange. Where did Mr. Lu and Mr. Ji go? Then one guy say that you certainly don't know what happened yesterday. After a young man out of nowhere took out a top quality elixir, the Nine Tripod Palace and the Strange would household out the olive branch to him. You guess what, he actually turned them all down. I guess you guys already know what happened next, right? An innocent man gets into trouble because of his wealth. It explains everything. They must be busy dividing the spoil now. Alas, the law of the jungle is everywhere, huh? We gotta be more careful. At that time, four men reached there, Elder Ku, from the Nine Tripod Palace. Meng Zhang, from the Meng family. And Yuan, the head of the Strange Wood House. Fei Shu, the master of the Eight Ultimate Sect. People were afraid and say that they are all big shots. It's extremely difficult to see them, normally, but why are they all here today? Looks like something big happened. Then Gao Yiming came there and say that Mr. Ku, Mr. Meng, Mr. An and Mr. Fei. Welcome. 
Mr. and saying to Gao Yiming that save it. Our people were killed on your turf. As the owner here, I think you owe us an explanation. Killed. Jeez, who has got the balls to kill their men? Gao Yiming replied to him that long story. Please follow me to the backyard, and I will tell you everything. Mr. Meng was angry and say that just hand over the killer. Otherwise. Then Elder Master came there and asked to Mr. Meng that otherwise what? Mr. Meng afraid and thinking that walking in the air. So intimidating. Could he? Gao Yiming saying to the Elder Master that uncle, it's great to have you here. People were shocked and say that uncle. He's the man in charge of the Gao family, Gao Bufin. A martial arts master. The mainstay of the Gao family. Then master asked to them that what can I do for you guys. Mr. Meng replied to him that you guys held the hero's summit. And to show our respect, we sent our man here. But now, they got killed by someone. We just need an explanation. Master saying them that the unjust dead has the owner. I promise we will help you guys to find the killer. But you guys gotta stop shouting aloud here. Or I will regard it as a challenge to me. Mr. and replied to him that sure. As long as you guys hand the killer over to us. Elder Master saying surprised and say that hand over the killer. If I were you, I would not put it that way. It has nothing to do with my family. Mr. and was angrily saying to Elder Master that we had investigated the whole thing before we came here. The killer is your guest, and Mr. Gao Yiming admitted that already. Then Elder asked to Gao Yiming that is that so? I see. In this case, send someone to ask Lin Haoshan here to defend him. If the fault lies with him, we will never take sides with him. Yiming Gao replied to him that yes, I am on it. At that moment, Lin Kei reached there, and say that don't bother. Gao Yiming was shocked and say that Lin Haoshan. Mr. An was seeing towards Lin Kei and asked to him that you are Lin Haoshan. Lin Kei replied to him that in the flesh. Mr. An saying to Lin Kei that well, well, I didn't expect that you still got the balls to show up. Then Mr. An saying to Elder Master that since our Mr. Killer is here, you won't try to stop us from taking revenge on him, will you? Elder Master replied to him that it depends on whether it's Lin Haoshan fault. We need a further investigation before you guys anything stupid. Why don't you guys take a rest first? I promise I will give you an explanation after I find out what happened exactly. Mr. Meng asked to Elder Master that what? Are you trying to protect him? Mr. Yiming surprised and replied to Mr. Meng that what a joke. My uncle is a martial arts master, and he will never protect a killer. Then Elder Master saying to Mr. Yiming that take these gentlemen to the backyard first. I know what's right to do after I speak with him. After all, I don't want to wrong anyone. Mr. An replied to him that okay. We will do as you say to show our respect to your family. After that, Elder Master asked to Lin Kei that you're Lin Haoshan. Lin Kei replied to him that yes, I am. Then Elder Master saying to him that it has nothing to do with your family anyway. I want to know why are we here. You have no idea what you have done, young man. Do you know who on earth these people you have offended are? Lin Kei replied to him that a bunch of losers. That's all. Elder Master was shocked and say that shut up. They all are quite influential people around the martial world, but you're just a nobody. What makes you think you can fight against them? Lin Kei replied to him that my fist. Then Elder Master saying to him that I have read countless people all my life, but I have never seen anyone as arrogant as you. Lin Kei replied to him that I am flattered. Elder Master saying to him that but here, none of those connections can help you. They're all mighty martial artists. But you're alone. I am afraid you will have to go come to a bad end if you don't have to others to help you. Then Lin Kei asked to him that are you implying that you want to help me? Elder Master replied to him that yes, I am. As you give me the recipe, I will protect you. You can mark my words. Lin Kei laughing ha ha ha. Elder Master asked to him that what are you laughing at? Lin Kei replied to him that no need. Because I am invincible, you pathetic mortal. As for the recipe, I can give it to you. But on one condition, your family must pledge allegiance to me. Elder Master was angry and say that how dare you. Lin Kei replied to him that oh, you wanna fight me here. Elder Master angrily replied to him that humph, fight you. You're not qualified to be my opponent yet. You would better think about how to deal with them first. On the other side, in the arena of the Geo family. Lin Kei stand in the center of four guys. 
Mr. Yiming saying to them that the summit was originally set up for exchanging martial arts experience and skills. Now that you two have a feud, you should settle it according to the rules here. After that Mr. Meng ready to attack on Lin K, then Lin K defend him with the power of figure. Then Mr. Fen attack on him with his spinning kick, Lin K stop the attack with his power. Then Mr. An attack on him with his power monster, at the end they all attack to him together, but all in vain. But Meng caught the Lin K. One guy saying to Meng good one. 